So who are the makers of history? The American Revolution is crucial to the answer of that question. So in making this point, I ask myself, how can I best sum up the power of this idea, this elusive idea about uh, the revolutionary idea? So I tried to find examples of people whom I felt understood it and expressed it in their writing. I came actually to a person who was a contemporary of the American Revolution. I came to William Blake, the great English poet and artist, in writing America, a Prophecy. So yes, in case you are asking, I really am going to hold historians to the standard of writing by William Blake. God help us. So in this poem, Blake saw the American Revolution as truly revolutionary. His poem begins with a symbol of revolution, Red Orc, who is pinioned to the ground, his arms and legs bound in chains, tenfold chains. He breaks free of the chains, and the age of revolution is begun. Here's what Blake says. Solemn heave the Atlantic waves between the gloomy nations, swelling, belching from its deeps red clouds and raging fires. Albion is sick, America faints, enraged the zenith grew, its human blood shooting veins all round the orbed heaven. Red rose the clouds from the Atlantic in vast wheels of blood. And in the red clouds rose a wonder o'er the Atlantic sea, intense, naked, a human fire, fierce glowing as the wedge of iron heated in the furnace. His terrible limbs were fire, with myriads of cloudy terrors, banners dark and towers surrounded, heat but not light, went through the murky atmosphere, the king of England looking westward, trembles at the vision. 